And how is everyone doing here tonight with each other? How about those food trucks? I saw quite a bit of French fry consumption, actually potato chip cons consumption going on out there. So I'd like to talk about vegetables for a minute. Carrots, very good for the eyes. And we need to be able to see one another better. Amy eats her vegetables. Who is Amy? I'm so glad you asked. Amy is my daughter. I, I wear her picture right here over my heart because she is so dear to me. She's there in her GED, at her GED graduation, a very proud moment for all of us. So she is my daughter, which means that I'm her mother. I'm a special kind of mom, though, so I made this sash here so that you could see what kind of mom I am. Can everyone see the sash? What does it say? Oh, you're so good. So I am an ambassador for the Minnesota Host Home Network and for the concept of host homes. So what is a host home? Thank you for asking. A host home is a housing arrangement between a young person who doesn't have a place to live and a caring adult in the community who has room in their home and can provide a stable presence. The young person might need a place to stay because their, their parents are struggling with mental illness, because they're very, very poor, or in Amy's case, her foster parents didn't want to have a gay kid living in their house. So then the young person needs to find a place to stay. And they can be very enterprising. Reggie, for example, he just walked across the street, knocked on, on Arnold's door, and they made a host home together. Amy found me at the drop-in center where she was volunteering, and where I was volunteering, and she was hanging out. Richard and Josh were there. They say they're at-risk youth. I like to say they're opportunity youth. When, when Richard and Josh asked me if I would give them a ride home one time, I, of course I said yes to where they were staying, and it ended up, it was, a, it was an abandoned building. So I have to ask you again, how are we doing with one another tonight? My heart is hurting. We can do better. We can, we can take care of each other. We can eat our vegetables and our leafy green vegetables and our hearts will get healthier and we will be able to love one another better. Right? Josh and Richard, they needed a bed to sleep in. When Amy was living at my house, she had a bed with a nice fluffy pillow and a warm blanket. But it was really more than that that she needed. After she, after she left, she was still coming over to my house. And sometimes it was, well, laundry, or a college application, or she just wanted to have a talk, a heart-to-heart -heart talk. Um, would she ever meet the woman of her dreams? Who is Alyssa? I'm so glad you asked. Alyssa is Amy's wife. <laughs> I want to talk turkey here now with you. A young person who is experiencing homelessness, do they need a turkey at Thanksgiving? Absolutely they need a turkey. But isn't it even more important to have people to eat that turkey with, to have a home to go to where there are people who care about you? Thank you, thank you. When I first met Amy, she was this tough Puerto Rican kid from the South Bronx, and no way was she going to let me give her a hug. So when it was time to say good night, I'll show you what I did. And you can do it too. Can everybody just put your fingers together like this? When you rub your fingers together like this, a little bit of fairy dust falls. 
and the fairy dust says, I care about you. May your sleep be peaceful. May you awake in the embrace of a community that is deeply committed to your success.